Waves crashing over the wall at the north end of Hampton's main beach at high tide. An impressive show up and down the coast for many from near and far here to witness it. It's phenomenal. It's really exciting. Daryl, I'm from Romania. I am from the first time here and I like so much. <laughs> a treat for a family from Wisconsin, not used to seeing the ocean or big waves. Not too many, no. Lake Michigan sometimes, but not, not like this. Wow. <laughs> this is great. Surfers of all sort taking full advantage of Tropical Storm Jose's impact. Many braving the churned up water, some getting a bit of a beating, but most expecting it. It's uh, looking a little crazy, but um, you know we should be able to catch a good wave and the wind's going in the right direction. But heeding the advice of first responders. Everyone knows that we're here. We always go out with a buddy. We have a spotter coming, so. No reports of flooding that coastal areas have been cautioned about. Many appreciating that New Hampshire has so far been spared the damage seen elsewhere this hurricane season. Knowing that it's still a long way away and it causes this much uh, commotion in the ocean, it's uh, very uh, comforting to know that we're not down in the, in the midst of it all. I mean, we gotta keep an eye on the next one though. Who knows where it's gonna come, right? Well, Hamden's fire department even had sandbags ready for residents, but better to have them and not need them than the other way around. Live at Hampton Beach, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.